conjunction is a compound claim formed by, as the name suggests, conjoining two or more component claims. The component claims are called the conjuncts. The logic of conjunctions is pretty straightforward. Here's a simple conjunction pertaining to my preferences for pizza toppings. Let A stand for the claim that I love pepperoni, and let B stand for the claim that I hate anchovies. Then the conjunction of A and B is the compound claim, I love pepperoni and I hate anchovies. We want to know the conditions under which the conjunction as a whole is true or false. In this case, it's pretty obvious. The conjunction A and B is true just in case each of the conjuncts is true. If either one is false, then the conjunction as a whole is false. It's sometimes handy to represent the logic of compound claims with the table that gives the truth value for the compound claim for every possible combination of truth values of the component claims. For conjunctions, the truth table looks like this. Under each of the conjuncts, we list all the possible truth values in such a way that each row represents a distinct logical combination of truth values. In the first row, A is true and B is true. In the second row, A is true and B is false. In the third row, A is false and B is true. And in the last row, A is false and B is false. This exhausts all the possible combinations of truth values. The middle column under the AND represents the truth value of the conjunction taken as a whole, A and B, as a function of the truth values for A and B in the, in the adjacent row. So in the first row, we see that if both A and B are true, then the conjunction as a whole is true. But for every other combination of truth values where at least one of the conjuncts is false, then the conjunction as a whole is false. We'll use truth tables like this one to represent the logic of all the compound claims we'll be looking at. Knowing the logic of the conjunction doesn't help much if you can't recognize when a conjunction is being used in ordinary language. Here are a few things to look out for. In the first sentence, the conjunctive form is transparent. Each of the conjuncts, John is a Rolling Stones fan and John is a teacher, show up as complete sentences on either side of the and. But the second sentence represents the very same conjunction as the first sentence. Syntax is different. But from the standpoint of propositional logic, the semantics, the meaning of the sentence is exactly the same as the first sentence. It's implicit that a teacher is a predicate term that takes John as the subject. Don't make the mistake of reading a sentence like this as a simple non-compound claim. Also, conjunctions don't always use the word and to flag the conjunction. In ordinary language, there may be a subtle difference in meaning between this sentence using but and the same sentence using and, but from the standpoint of propositional logic, where all we care about is whether the sentence is true or not, and how the truth of the sentence depends on the truth of any component claims, this sentence still represents a conjunction. But doesn't make any difference from this perspective. This sentence is still true just in case John is a Rolling Stones fan and John doesn't like the hoop. There are other words that sometimes function to conjoin claims together, like these. You can substitute all of these for but in this sentence, and you'll get slight variations in the sense of what's being said. But from the standpoint of propositional logic, all of these represent the same conjunction, a claim of the form A and B. One last point. Conjunctions can have more than two component claims. A claim like this one might represent a compound claim like, John is a writer and a director and a producer of The Simpsons TV show but he's also a stand-up comic and an accomplished violinist. This is still a conjunction and it follows the same rules as any conjunction. Namely, it's true as a whole, just in case all those component claims are true and it's false otherwise. This is about all you need to know about the logic of conjunctions and how conjunctions are expressed in ordinary language.